we know that the world is changing quickly. In some cases, that change is even accelerating now. If you look at digital technologies, for example, or the work in data and so on. UN 2.0 is how do we maintain an agility to be able to take advantage of those opportunities, understand the risks, and support our member states while we're doing it. This is a rallying point for our common coalition, and uh, this transformation is only going to be achieved through our people. With all the change, all the geopolitical turbulence that we see, what is really the role of the UN? Will the UN survive? You know, the UN is very necessary, but I think for our staff, this will really reinforce that we are necessary and that we are important and we bring something to the table that no other international organization does. So behavioral science is there because it's still considered one of the innovative approaches to um, addressing the challenges of, of, you know, the sustainable development goals. Behavioral science became an interesting tool uh, in the case of Argentina. There was an objective to formalize domestic work through social security registration. We could do our job better if we dispense with things we've done for a long time. It almost feels like a betrayal to some people. They say, Look, I've been doing this for 30 years, you're telling me it's no good? And it's not that. It's saying, what you've done has been great, but now we've got new tools saying what we can do in the future could be better.